Welcome to the Two Pine Trail, a path into the wilderness that features one of the most populous species in this province. And stay tuned to learn about self-sabotage, an unconscious setback that could be stopping us from achieving our goals. This is Wandering with Wilfred. Hello, and welcome back to Wandering with Wilfred. I am your host, Wilfred, and today we will be wandering through Two Pine, located in Massey Drive, Newfoundland and Labrador. With moose hunting season upon us, my animal instincts kick in, and I'm a hunting dog. In this wander, I sniff my way down Two Pine Trail, hoping to catch my moose this season. The hunting season is from early September to late December. To apply for a moose license, you must be a resident at least 16 years old, hold a hunter certificate number, and have completed the required firearm safety and hunter education course. Applications are submitted online, and licenses are allocated through a priority pool draw system, where priority increases with each unsuccessful application year. The Wildlife Division in Newfoundland and Labrador manages moose populations. They aim to keep moose numbers below the maximum amount that the province's ecosystems can support while allowing for sustainable hunting. Since moose don't have natural predators in the area, hunting is essential for controlling their population and preventing damage to their habitat. Quotas for hunting are established based on population estimates, success rates, and public input, although the uneven distribution of moose within management areas can complicate these efforts. The division has developed a moose density mapping project to show the distribution of moose across management units. This mapping helps hunters better understand where moose are more or less abundant, potentially guiding their hunting plans. If you're liking this video, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. Your support helps me in my journey to embark on more adventures. Self-sabotage is something many people experience, often without realizing it. It can show up as procrastination, negative self-talk, or repeatedly avoiding tasks that could lead to success. The roots of self-sabotage usually lie in fear. Fear of failure, fear of judgment, or even fear of success itself. People may develop these fears from past experiences or insecurities, which create a barrier that holds them back. This can be an automatic reaction, where they unconsciously set themselves up for failure because of a learned belief that they don't deserve success, or because they're afraid of what might change if they succeed. The first step in overcoming self-sabotage is awareness. Recognizing patterns in our behavior helps to shed light on the moments when we're working against our own interests. By focusing on our actions, we can start to identify specific triggers and situations that lead to self-sabotaging thoughts or behaviors. For example, Someone might notice that every time they're close to finishing a big project, they suddenly find themselves procrastinating or doubting their abilities. Awareness like this can help us understand why we're getting in our own way and begin questioning whether these habits are serving or harming us. To move forward, it's helpful to challenge these behaviors directly. This could mean replacing negative self-talk with positive thoughts or actively breaking down big goals into smaller, more manageable steps to reduce feelings of doubt. Seeking support from friends, family, therapists, or teachers can also be beneficial because they look at the situation from a different perspective that can help us see when we're self-sabotaging.
Over time, with patience and persistence, we can learn to work with these tendencies, replacing them with healthier habits that support our goals and allow us to thrive. If you like the video, please give that like button a little paw tap, subscribe for more four-legged adventures, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a future video. Tail wags and happy trails. Embark on the journey with us. Find our images, pins, and postcards. Own these treasures and join our wander. Let's venture together.